Blood? Ah! Ghost! Vampire! Murderer! I'm pretty sure you're the murderer. You're the one with blood all over your hands. I'm not. He's dead. Yeah, he was dead before I got here. But, like, there was a vial or whatever. He poisoned himself. So why do you have... He's dead! He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. And I freaked out and I took his dad over, but then I couldn't do it. I couldn't kill myself, but it felt like I had to do something. So I guess I took it and I kind of just freaked out because it just went in. You stabbed his dead body? I didn't mean to. I was going to send myself to my eternal rest with my husband, but then, like... You stabbed his dead body. You're giving a lot of judgment for, like, a ghost or whatever. I am not a ghost. What the F, Juliet? Do you really not recognize me? Um... It's your cousin, Rosaline. You can at least, like, try to remember that I exist. It's not like anyone else does. Right. Sorry. Why? Why do I exist? Why are you, like, here? Oh. Well, back when your dead boyfriend was my boyfriend, the friar came up with this whole pretend you're dead plot. And I was like, that's so insane. Who would be that stupid to do something like that? But then I remembered that you're stupid. And Romeo is, like, really stupid. So out of, like, family loyalty or whatever, I came to, like, save you. But you didn't save him? He was dead when I got here. He died, like, really quick. There's also another dead guy out there, but maybe that's unrelated. But you weren't trying to save me? I shook you, like, really hard. Okay, well, you could have at least, like, hung out near my body. It's or... been, like, four hours! And I had to pee. You let me almost kill myself because you had to pee? Girl, you're the one who almost killed yourself, okay? I am not obligated to be here. I tried. Stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me? No! Someone's gonna hear us. Oh, maybe you should have thought of that before you stabbed a dead body. They're going to think I killed him and the other guy. Oh. Who's the other guy? Uh, your other fiance, London, Buenos Aires. Paris? Sure. Okay, well, I don't really care because he was gross, but someone's gonna hear us and think I killed them and drag me off to jail or exile or whatever. Fire group, shut up! Ghost! Yeah, totally a ghost. I'm the great undead ghost of Willow, and I'm going to haunt you forever if you don't shut up. Wait. You don't look like a ghost. No, I totally am. I'm the all-powerful ghost of Willow, and I'm asking you to keep your voices down. I don't think ghosts are all-powerful. Yeah, aren't they, like, condemned to wander the earth or whatever? Whatever, maybe I'm just regular Willow. Can you please shut up? Oh, I guess. You said please that time. And yet you were still talking. I am allowed to express myself, okay? I just got married, and then my husband killed himself, and then I accidentally stabbed his dead body, and apparently my gross fiancé is also dead. Just give me a second to feel feel. Where's the vial? The poison vial? Yeah. A uh, duh. How do you know about the poison vial? Because my stupid boss, the stupid apothecary, gave it to stupid Romeo. And if my stupid boss gets jailed or excommunicated or whatever, then I will too. So I came to hide the stupid evidence. Oh, word. Don't call my husband stupid. Wasn't he though? Yeah, but that's not the point. <laughs> I literally do not care how you feel about your dead husband. I literally just need to cover up his death. So if you could just let... I don't know how I feel about my dead husband. Oh, wow! I don't know how I feel. I feel sadness and anger and love. Literally do not care! I feel relief! Oh, wow! I'm relieved. I'm the worst wife in the entire world, but part of me is actually... Glad he's dead. How dare you say such a thing! Uh, yeah. <laughs> part of me is actually glad because I am too young to get married to someone I met three days ago. You met him three days ago? And also the sex wasn't that good. <laughs> That's the part that's a surprise to you? Like, I wanted him to stay so we could go again because I didn't, um... I heard there's supposed to be a good part, and we didn't get to that part, but he really just cared about his part, and then he had to go, Oh, so... girl, no. If any guy only cares about his part, you ditch him, okay? Or stab his dead body in a tomb. <laughs> that works, too. Now, can we clean up the 
evidence and get out of here? How are we supposed to clean anything? I'm covered in blood, and did you, like, bring any cleaning supplies? I didn't know there was going to be blood. It's poison. You I mean... You are both so unprepared. Um, excuse me, and your contribution is... You're sure he was dead, right? What? Oh, Paris was deaf dead. Like, Romeo went to town. Oh, and if everyone thinks that Romeo disappears and killed Paris, then we just have to get rid of the body. And but like Romeo, like my husband, you're sure that the poison killed him, right? For real? <laughs> like, what if he wasn't? What if he wasn't? What if he wasn't? No! I checked! But how good did you check? Did you, like, he was dead? Are you sure? Because actually my problems would be solved if this was a stabby, stabby murder and not a poison, poison. Oops! <laughs> what was that? I don't know, like a rat? Does that mean the rats are like eating his body? Probably. Shut up, she is traumatized. Actually, I think she killed him. No, she didn't. Stop trying to make this a Capulet Montague thing, okay? Hey, okay, shut up. Uh, he was dead when I got here. Well, you're a Capulet too, and an ex, so I'm not sure I believe you. Maybe you both killed him. Hey. I'm pretty sure you're the one who gave him the poison, so we're all implicated at this point. Hey! <laughs>
then I was taking the sleeping potion thing, and as I counted back from ten, I got to eight, and I was like, no! This is not what I want! Then it was too late, and I was dead. Well, like, fake dead, right? <coughs> then when I realized that it felt like I was dead dead, like I had gone from one totally controlled and patriarchal relationship into another one and into another one, and I'm only barely a person! What if I never actually got to be a person because Romeo wasn't going to save me from the thing? He, he was the thing. That's not exactly his fault. But why didn't he care when I didn't get to the part that felt good? And why didn't he check in on me more? And why didn't he do any of the emotional labor in our relationship? And why didn't he even really try to ask my parents for my hand in marriage? He just wanted to cut me off my whole life because it was easier for him than figuring it out with me. Like, isn't that such a man thing to do? Like, split. Like, I really thought he was dead. Most of me thought he was dead, but also it felt really good to stab his dead body. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's already dead. You might as well get some catharsis too out of this. He didn't even answer my carrier pigeon when I thought I was preggers. Hey, you're rude, are you? <laughs> no, I was just late, but he didn't know that. And then suddenly he's in love with someone else. Wow, you both really dodged a sword. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rosaline. Hey, if it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be dead, so... No apologies necessary. Yeah, but like, if you and I had just talked to each other, we wouldn't be like implicated in murder and stuff, so. Classic girl problems. <laughs> so, like. There's a lake. Stones. Stones. I saw a bucket for the horses near the entrance. For water. So we can wash away the blood. I have a vial. We're gonna need to run after we dump the body in. Yeah, the prince is definitely on his way. We should def run. Yeah, I'm already dead, so... I'm basically dead for how much anyone pays attention to me. Yeah, being an indentured servant wasn't great either. I hear Venice is nice. Ooh, it's supposed to be pretty. And I don't mind wearing pants. I hear people are pretty easily fooled by pants and a ponytail under her hat. <laughs> <sighs> Are you two strong enough for this? Oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. One, two, three! <laughs>